What's up guys, Davram from Davram Gaming, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, getting the old spell effects, or as close to the old spell effects as we can, um, into the new live EverQuest servers. So they're not going to be the true old spell effects that we all know and love, but they will not be the new spell effects that a lot of people have issues with. I've been playing for P99 for seven or eight years now, and I finally switched back to the Mangler server because it's better for my schedule personally with my work and things. And I'm just not happy with the new spell effects. So uh, today I want to show you how to go back as close as we can to the old spell effects that we know and we love. So let's go over to the computer. Right, so the first thing we need to do is navigate to our EverQuest folder. Um, so for me, this is under the C drive, users, public, daybreak, uh, game company, installed games, and then finally EverQuest. If you're not quite sure where your EverQuest folder is, just right click the properties of your shortcut on your desktop and it'll have the install path there for you and you can follow that install path on your computer itself. So let's go into the EverQuest folder, and once we're here, we can see all of our files for EverQuest. So I want you to just click on the, uh, the window here at the top, and then just start typing spell. The first thing will come up is, you can see it highlighted there, spell effects. That's not what we want, so we'll take spell again. It's going to bring us down here to the actual files uh, that are in our folder that are running when we run the game. And we are looking for these two files right here, spellsnew.edd, spellsnew.eff. Go ahead and select both of those files and tap that delete key. Don't worry, uh, if you run the regular EverQuest patcher, those files will be restored. So if for some reason uh, you decide you don't like the old spell effects, you can restore them by running the original patcher. With that said, every time the EverQuest patcher brings out new um, patches, you're going to have to run the patcher and follow this step again to get your old spell effects back. So the last thing we need to do here before we leave the folder is we need to find the eqgame.exe. So we go up here to the EQ section. And again, if you're not too, uh, too, too computer savvy and you don't want to do all the typing, you can do what I'm doing right here and you'll be able to find it here. Uh, that's the icon we can see here by the file type icon. We're actually looking for... Um, we're actually looking for the, the game file itself, uh, which is going to look a lot like it, but it'll have kind of the old logo here, and you'll see it says application. What you want to do is right-click on that and create a shortcut. And once you have that shortcut, go ahead and drag it into onto your desktop. All right, once you have the new shortcut on your desktop, as we can see here, the new shortcut, I labeled, I, I left it labeled shortcut, is the older style logo. The EverQuest logo here is the patcher. Now, we've already deleted those files, so we do not want to click on the patcher, because if we do, it will place those files back in the folder, and we will have accomplished nothing. What we need to do with the shortcut, however, is right-click on the shortcut, go to Properties, and under the target, which is that install path that I said earlier in the video where you could find where you installed it, go all the way at the end, and after the .exe uh, parentheses, or uh, sorry, .exe quotation marks, put a space and type patch me. All one word, P-A-T-H, or P-A-T-C-H-M-E. I'm reading it off the screen and still screwing it up. Patch me after the quotation marks. Click apply and OK. And now go ahead and launch the shortcut, not the main game. Remember, you're going to need to launch the main game anytime a new content patch is released because that's how you're going to get the content, but you're going to have to go in and delete the spells again. You won't have to rename the icon um, or you won't have to redo um, the target of the shortcut, but you will need to uh, go in and delete the files and then continue to use your shortcut that you created. One thing to keep in mind here is since we're not going through the Daybreak game launcher, you are going to have to manually log in here where on the Daybreak launcher it automatically logs you in. So let me go ahead and log in here and I'll see you in the game. All right, here we are guys, we're inside the game, and as I said, we went ahead and deleted the files, we, we added patch me to the shortcut. As I said, we won't be able to get the true old spell effects back, but we can get as close as we can. So now if I click my, um, my lesser shielding buff here, you'll notice it's nothing's coming out of my hands, 
But when the actual spell casts, we have the old version of the spell and not the new version. The reason nothing is coming out of my hands is because the game has evolved for so long there was a period of time before we went to the new spell effects where they actually got rid of the magic coming out of your hands. Now, once I reach, I believe, the level of 29, stuff will start coming out of my hands again and it'll look normal. Um, but this is the same with, for example, the gate spell. As you can see, we have the old gate spell look, not the new look with the... Um, with the spinning, uh, the spinning orange. So there you go. That's how you get your old spell effects back. Um, we are going to do a couple more of these videos down the road. There is a way to get the old spell gems back and things like that. So I'm going to show you how to do that in a future video. So please do subscribe. Uh, if you like the video, do a like. And always make sure, if you would like, come check out our EverQuest content Monday through Friday at 7 p.m., Eastern Standard Time on twitch.tv slash Gaming. Take care of yourselves, guys, and each other. I'll see you in Norath.